Alrighty. Alright, here we go. There's only four teams left in the race to go to the Super Bowl. And, uh, well, who are these teams? What, what's their strengths? What's their weaknesses? What's everything they got to do? What's, what, what's their plan to get to the Super Bowl? Well, let me tell you. Um, it's going to be a fun, fun conference championship weekend. That's, that's for damn sure. Let me tell you. I never been more excited for a Sunday in my life other than this one. Well, Super Bowl will be more exciting because we get a lot of pretty appetizers throughout that day. And then, boom, it'll be Super Bowl Sunday before you know it. But that's a couple weeks away, so let's not worry about the Super Bowl yet. Let's worry about this couple of games right here. Let's worry about these couple of games right here. And first up, as I can't remember anything at all, first up, not, not that, um, first up on Sunday, at 3.05 or 2.05, depending on where you live at. Again, I have to stress the 2.05 because I live in the Central Time Zone, and there's some people on this channel that also live in the Central Time Zone, so we have to stress that. Uh, but first up, it'll be the Titans, the sixth seed in the AFC, taking on the two seed Chiefs in Arrowhead in Kansas City. It's going to be a fun one, man. Let me tell you, Patrick Mahomes is a... He is a slinger, a gun slinger. You know, he can no look pass it to you. He can throw it in all sorts of ways. He can use his legs. He's got all sorts of weapons on the field. You know, Travis Kelsey, Miko Hartman, Tyreek Hill. You know, it's going to be, um, Damian Williams at times. You know, it's going to be a fun, fun, you know, if Kansas City goes off like they did last week against Houston, I think it'll be a fun, fun game. And for the Titans, well, they got a battering ram in the backfield. And Derrick Henry, the NFL's rushing title leader. Um, and they got a quarterback by the name of Ryan Tannehill, whose career has been reinvigorated by, by coming to the Titans and just leading them down the field and getting touchdowns. No field goals. They haven't, the Titans haven't kept the field goal in forever. Um, and they have a suffocating defense as well. Um, you know, the Titans do because they held they held the Baltimore Ravens to only 12 points. They held the New England Patriots to only 13. You know, suffocating defense that has stepped up big time. And in, in the case of the Chiefs, the Chiefs' defense is kind of... Uh, yeah, yeah, they came back from 24 down to beat Houston by 20, but that defense is not the greatest, man. Not the greatest. You know, Tannehill can throw the ball. He's got some guys that can get up and catch it. You know, like A.J. Brown or Johnny Smith. Um, you know, those guys can get up there and catch that ball. And, you know, when, when the Chiefs they get beat on defense, I don't think they'll be able to catch up. They got some speed guys out there that can get up there, get that ball, catch it, go, and beat the Chiefs up and down the field. So, um, well, I don't know who's going to win this matchup because it could be a defensive slugfest. It could be an offensive show. It could be a one-man wrecking crew by Derrick Henry. It could be the Patrick Mahomes show. Who knows what's going to happen um, in the first game of our double header and you know for the Titans I think it just needs to you know get Derrick Henry the ball and stop the Chiefs on offense that's all they need to do um, once, the, once the Chiefs get going they can score at will um, for the Chiefs well they need to stop Derrick Henry <laughs> they need to stop Derrick Henry and they need to get their offense going if they want to go you, know, you can't have a first quarter like that where, you, where your offense just wasn't, you know, really doing much at all. Um, yeah, there be that. That's one of the that's one of the championships. That's the AFC championship game. But the other, the NFC championship, is a, 
a hell of a lot more interesting. Possibly. Well, it is a lot more interesting. No, I'm just kidding. Both these games are interesting. But uh, moving on, we got the two-seeded Packers and the one-seeded 49ers down there at um, Santa Clara, Levi Stadium. You know, 6.40 p.m. on the East Coast, 5.40 here in my time zone. And, you know, again, the 49ers also have a dominant tight end by the name of George Kittle. Um, you, you, y'all know him, George McGriddle Kittle, um, led by Jimmy Garoppolo and all sorts of cats like Debo Samuel and, and uh, suffocating defense, man. Um, I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it's crazy what the 49ers have. And for the Packers, well, we all know the man leading the Packers. We all know who Aaron Rodgers is. Of course, he's got some weapons as well on the offensive side, like Devontae Adams or Aaron Jones, who I think is the most improved player of the year. Um, um, man, and Jimmy Graham as well, you know. Those guys, it's a strength on a strength matchup. It's the it's the kind of matchup you want in a conference championship game. The kind of matchup you really want, and stuff like that. So, what does all this mean? Well, for the Packers, I think that they need to limit George Kittle. You know, you can't let these receivers get open for the 49ers, especially George Kittle. Um, that's really the big thing. You gotta pressure Jimmy G. You know, get him. You know, get this man. You know, don't let him use his legs or anything like that. Don't let him get an open throw downfield or anything like that. You know, either. You know, you can't can't let him do anything. You gotta suffocate him. And as far as 49ers, I think their game plan is simple: get George Kittle the ball, get those receivers the ball, get Debo Samuel the ball, get everybody the ball. Get you know, get that offense rolling and doing things that it just did to the Vikings like it was nothing. Um, and they, and well, 49ers defense, they may be strong enough to keep Aaron Rodgers contained, but if they can't keep him contained, don't let him don't let him get the Hail Mary ball out. Don't let him get, you know, throws that could be, you know, like that are crazy and just so like he just pulled them out of his ass, you know. Don't let don't let the Packers do anything on offense. Don't let him don't let him gain any momentum. But yeah, that is that is it. There's only two games left before the Super Bowl, and it's these two games. I'm not acknowledging the Pro Bowl, so let's not acknowledge that at all. But but it's only four teams, and only two of them are gonna represent their respective conferences in the Super Bowl, and uh, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen that game, in these games, um, excuse me, <sighs> can't wait, I'm ready, but are you ready, I'll sound off in the comment section below, and with that being said, we're gonna skedaddle, go on out of here, do something else, and get ready for the weekend, let's go baby, let's go.